go with the former UFC title challenger, Iron Michael Chandler. Dan, do you guys go way back? Obviously, we can talk about the athletic credentials. Some, though, have questioned his fight IQ in some of his big fights in the UFC. Well, it seems like he wants to fight the fun fight, right. opposed to the fight that would seem to make sense to him. But let me tell you something, I'm not complaining. Uh -huh. I enjoy every Michael Chandler fight. I enjoy watching this guy go out there and fight on his shield. He has A-plus skills across the board, and let's see how he applies them to the fight tonight. And even in losses against high-level competition, he has had big moments. You do get the sense that Michael Chandler may always be just one win away from that elusive shot at the title yet again. and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division can't get worse. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at Team Over the Weeding in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rule set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Nice kick, yep. Both guys up here to land there. Found the target with that left hand. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. So a nice shot landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage, and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. His opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, my goodness. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. You get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Both tough, both nervous, both unwilling to take a 
a step back. What a phenomenal fight. <laughs> Trying to set up that counterattack. Chandler's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he hits. Oh, oh, good work with the jab there. Michael Chandler gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And he blocks the shot there. Straight right, he misses. Big strike lands. Now he has to try to chase down that big. <laughs> lands to the body there. Oh, oh. Two next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round right underway. Oh, man, that could have fight. Good flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, huge right hand from Michael Chandler yet again, and not unlike the one he landed on Dan Hooker a few years ago. I mean, Michael oh, 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 he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Big right hand there. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, nice jab. All right, well, oh! This is big. That's big. Oh! Oh! Oh, big punch. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, nice body shot. Plans a nice one, too. That shot is blocked by Aspinall. Big shot, man. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Chandler's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged. Oh, get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Nice land with that punch, clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's, oh! He's hurt. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice jab to the head by Aspinall.
the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paul And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. And tonight, you got that done. And you should be very proud of the work.